Where do you see yourself in the upcoming years? Big team or big level of competition. I can speak to you maybe now one day about the difference <laughs> between second and first league. First of all, thank you very much for being here with us today. You are the first to participate in this series. The name is Super League Talks, a quiz made of five categories. Some questions from me and uh, also the fans. Let's go straight to the first, um, which is some questions from me. The first question okay. is, how did you make the decision to come to Greece, Heraklis and now Pantseraikos? First of all, it's my honor to, to be first uh, in this uh, interview. Uh, to start this kind of, of thing, so it's my honor to be here. And uh, now, I, I wasn't be like, okay, if you look like sports side career, this was six months in Armenia, but generally I was there two and a half months because I, I got there so, so, so late, so late. And after two and a half months, uh, club was closed, uh, president. Uh, make some problems with federation so i was without club from 29 21 uh, november i think yes and for me decision for greece was the most uh, the the most easiest like in my decisions because uh, in greece you don't have pause in january you you make uh, you you straight play a, a championship so i know that even if i lose like let's say six months in armenia i know that i will have from january until end of the May, uh, when we finished championship, around 20-21 games still. So this was the main reason because I came in Greece. When I look at like decision, for me was the best decision because Heraklis, like Heraklis is one of the biggest club uh, in Greece. And also it's in Saloniki. So in my head was, if someone will come to watch me, the most easiest is to come in Saloniki. It's a big city, have too much eyes, too much agents. Do you think uh, it was worth it the move to come here in Greece? If I look uh, all my career, for me the best uh, the best decision in my like life was to move in Greece. And how I look all things behind me and how things go now in this way, for me it was totally right decision. Uh, I want you to tell me your feelings about being the top scorer last year in second division. But to be honest, for me it was a little uh, strange, uh, strange feeling because I never played striker before in my career. Uh, Sakis Solis, uh, ex, uh, like last coach in, in Iraq, is he moved me on this position. To be honest with you, I even on training didn't score goals or, or something like this, you know, because in my career I played defense middle fielder and this. So for me, it was amazing, uh, amazing feeling when I start to score goals. I, I want this, you know, and every day I work hard for this. And thanks God, in the end of the season, I was like first scorer in the league. I want you now to tell me which goals you had for this season, personally and as a team. And uh, finally, if you achieved them with Pantseraikos now. But to be honest with you, I achieved all goals that I have in my head because I will tell you honestly, and this is not uh, this is not a lie. It's not that I didn't believe in myself, but uh, when I come here in the Super League, because let's say that uh, second league and first league, it's to another sport. You know, with uh, which kind of players you you play, uh, big career, big CV, also stadiums. When I speak with my father, who is also ex ex football player, I say, okay, for first year, to be honest, I didn't expect that I will be standard in Pansaripos. You know, I was thinking, okay, maybe sometimes I will play cup game, maybe sometimes I start, maybe sometimes like substitution. For me, this was normal. We will uh, speak uh, later about the differences for the uh, second and the okay. first. Now we okay. can go to the first category of the quiz, which is the rapid fire questions. You have to answer quick in these 10 questions I will make you. If you could go back in time, which team would you go back for and why? Maybe I will some... not go back to it. Okay. I will not go. Toughest stadium to play at? Like Leoforos. We, we play in uh, Leoforos. No, no, Leoforos. Okay. Uh, toughest opponent to ever face? Fabiano. Funniest teammate in Pantseraikos? Varda. An opponent that did trust talking to you from Super League? Tavelas. One word that describes you best? Never give up. The most memorable game of your career? Ike. Your favorite player growing up as a kid? Sasha Illich. 
Which Super League player you enjoy most watching? Ioannidis. And the last, the team that you enjoy the most when you play against them? I can Panathinaikos. Because it was with fans, uh, with Olympiakos without fans, with Pauk without fans. So for me, these two teams. Perfect. Let's move to the second category, which is the blind Super League ranking. I will give you five players and you have to rate them from one to five without knowing the next. Uh, I have some small names and also some bigger names. So take take care with your uh, answers. The first is Ezekiel Ponce. Three. Three. Uh, second, we have Pedro Conde from Pazianna. Five. Loren Moron from Aris. Four. Ognjen Ozegovic from Kifisia. Because it's Serbian, let's put him on first place. First place. Okay, same country. I understand. And the uh, last, Fotis Ioannidis. Fotis is my favorite player this season, but I will put him on second place. But I must to say also for Ozegovic, uh, it's not just because it's Serbian, but let's say that we must respect what, what he achieved this season. Especially with team who go who made who relegated in second relegated. League. It's not easy. Yes, it's not easy even in Greece to score 16 goals. Okay, maybe someone say penalties, but it's not easy to score penalties. So for me, big respect for him. We move on quick to the third category, which is similar to the second. I want you to build me a five-a-side Super League team, including uh, one goalkeeper, one defender. One midfielder, one attacker, and the plus one, we will put it in whatever position you want, so we, we can have the final five. For me, for me, best uh, goalkeeper last year was uh, Brignoli from Panathinaikos, but this year also in Aik uh, they change a lot, uh, like Stanko and Stankovic and Atanasiadis. Yes. Then I will go with uh, with Kotarski. Uh, defender, I will say Mladenovic. One midfielder. Pineda. One attacker. Bernard. One more player. Like for attack, I will say now you need this. We can uh, ask some uh, QA, some fans questions now. First, how does it feel like to play in first division team in Greece for the first time? But to be honest, it's amazing feeling. Uh, first of all, it's very big like difference uh, when you go in a big stadium with a lot of fans and this and it's immediately give you like different different uh, feeling you know so for me it was amazing feeling and also okay it's it's different when you watch from the side like super league and when you are into the game you know when you feel fast when you when you heard the, the noise pressure and this so for me it's amazing feeling you notice any differences between first and second division I can speak to you maybe now one day about the difference <laughs> between second and first league But okay, okay. Let's say first you you can start from stadium because it's not the same when you play. Let's say in some village and uh, if you play in some uh, some stadium like Tumba, like Leoforos, Karaiskakis, you know it's it's very it's very big difference. Then uh, trainings like trainings, it's bigger professionalism. Uh, you work more. Uh, It's more money, so it's you have a lot of uh, difference from second league and first. What did make you, made you sign with Panzerikos? Pablo was main factor to to sign for him, but okay, I will I will, I will be honest with you. I even didn't know Pablo like a coach, you know. But uh, first uh, first feeling that I speak on the phone with a person who play in Real Madrid in Milan, Osasuna for me. I want to 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 be next to him, to learn from him, and I know that I will learn, learn uh, a lot of things from him. And also, in mentality, let's say the Uruguayan people, it's the same like Serbian people that they fight so much. He's he's a person who maybe it's not good for the fans, but I will say who 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 wants balls. This is maybe one of my profile how which I am uh, I am like like a player so for me this was the main like yeah. decision because of this how was your experience at Iraklis to be honest for me Iraklis is is in, have a uh, one uh, like space in my heart because uh, they they give me opportunity to come in Greece they they give me opportunity to to show my quality so I'm so much grateful for them even for the people who is aside from the from the club like fans I have very very nice hospitality from them I'm still friend uh, with some people when I go in Saloniki sometimes uh, we see each other I still follow games of Heracles so I don't know what more to say that big thank you you know
Where do you see yourself in the upcoming years? Big team or big level of competition. Favorite Serbian team? Partizan. Your favorite teammate in Panzerikovs? To be honest, I'm very good with all of them, but uh, in beginning was Bayrovic. But now let's say that uh, the most time I spend with Fullery and with Hovan. Your best goal with Panzerikovs? With Aik, with Aris, and also it was good head uh, with uh, Tromikos. The best and the worst moment in your career? The, the best moment, let's say, move to Panzerikovs and this goal with Aik. To be honest, I don't know who is like, The, the worst uh, moment in my career because I don't regret to anything. Maybe an injury or something? No. Thanks God, I never have uh, I never have injuries. So. What your celebration exactly means? Uh, it's uh, for my mother. She's a big fighter in life and all the time I give this celebration to her. So this is the first letter, letter of her name. Anita is the name. Let's go now to the fourth category, which is very simple. You have to select one of the two options. Uh, And again, try to answer as more as you can. Kaftadzoglio or Pantsaraiko Stadium? For me, stadium like stadium, maybe bigger is Kaftadzoglio, you know, but I never have a possibility like to play in, in a full Kaftadzoglio, you know. So in Pantsaraiko, I like more these smaller uh, stadiums who is like fans who is next to the, to, the, to the players. So in this moment, I will go with uh, Pantsaraiko Stadium. Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Score a known goal or miss a penalty? Missed penalty. Hat trick or last minute goal? I would say hat trick, but if it's a last minute goal for the win, I will go with last goal for the win. Be on the bench in a big team or starter in a smaller team? Starter in a small team. Win the Champions League or win the World Cup? Let's say World Cup, but I will never have possibility with Serbia to win. Morning training or evening training? Morning training. Serbian derbies or Greek derbies? I will choose Serbian derby because it's allowed with, with both fans, you know, to the win stadium. So oh, okay. I don't see that when play Pauk and Olympiakos come Olympiakos fans, for example, in Tumba, you know, so I will choose the Serbian derby. Which country has better football level and training facilities, Serbia or Greece? Uh, Greece is, I think, five, five steps in front of the Serbia. It's more money in football, it's better stadium, more fans in the stadium, bigger contract more for Egner player. Uh, now some non-football questions, which is uh, whether in Serbia or whether in Greece. Whether in Greece for sure. Uh, Serbian food or Greek food? Serbian food. Nightlife in Serbia or nightlife in Greece? I will tell you now Greece is better, but I didn't go maybe more than 10 times in a nightlife or something like this. The final category now, we are almost done. I will name you some things and you have to describe them with one word. Uh, if you cannot with just one, with uh, a few words. First is Panzerikos fans. For me, they are great. Pablo Garcia. Legend. Sakis Giolis. Football father. Iraklis. Amazing team. You, top scorer in Super League 2 last year. Not bad. Matias Thomas. Great left foot. Amr Guarda. Top quality of the player. And Trelos. Uh, last minute goal versus Aris. Amazing feeling. Okay, and a bonus one. An opinion for a Super League voice, the page. Polikalo. Let's finish now the, the fans' questions. From what age you started playing football? My father uh, bring me on first training with five years, but professional football I have uh, when I turn 20, when I go into Karecki, and this was like official league, professional league. What did you buy with your first money out of football? I buy, I don't know how to say to you, but uh, now in Serbia we have like I do, like cafe bar plus like place for uh, for children to celebrate birthday and this you know and because my family didn't have money I I help like I help to my fa- family we invest in this so let's say that I spent there my first like money who, who, who was little serious you know but uh, something that yes. you always do before a game I always pray to God to thank him for everything what he give he what he give me in, in my life and also to, to pray to not uh, make injury in the game. What are you doing on your free time? Depends from my one of the best friends from Bradonic. He playing uh, Pauk Vita now at TK every day. Maybe I will go in Saloniki, maybe I go with my girlfriend in Saloniki. When it's good weather, I all the time go with, uh, with Bayrovic. It's Peponi Beach. So li- I give a little marketing to Peponi, Peponi Club in the, next to Kavala, but All the time I'm like in Ceres. I'm not guy who wants to travel somewhere and this. I'm like town, town, 
town person. I, I like to, to enjoy with the people from the town, to, to sit on coffee with them, to discuss about football, about all these things. What would you do if you were not be a footballer? I think maybe people will not like uh, this as well, but I like Mafia so much, so maybe this, I don't know. I like to watch uh, this uh, kind of movies about mm. in, in history, you know, like Al Pacino and Godfather's movie and this. So I like this, but I'm not for this. I don't accept this. The last, uh, describe yourself with three words. I'm winner, strong mentality and guy who, who loves to improve his, uh, his things in the, the pitch. I want to improve myself to be better in, in every case to stay after training to, to practice. So let's say this. I want you to give to give me some tips for the new kids that want to be athletes and uh, how someone can be professional. Give me, you know, some advices that help you maybe in your first steps. I, I don't think that you have in book like right way how to be a professional football player, you know, because uh, football is live thing. But the most important for myself and it's that I never give up. For me, I think the, the most, the, the main thing is to not give up and to believe. Uh, that's it, we are done. I, I think that you must to continue like this. And so, of course, don't give up step by step. And I think you will thing. make a great... Uh, football and the other football. Yes, and you will make a great, uh, great job uh, about this.